what's up guys Tom is back with another Lintons video the wife he is back as well she has a very important job to do today and that is to pick a favorite of hers out of three fragrances but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it's that cell phone, the tablet, the laptop, the Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Maybe you watch me at home and work on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you watch me at an altar right now, just going through a whole bunch of fragrances right now, hoping that Mr. Linsense has reviewed one of those fragrances. Most likely, I probably haven't because I don't really shop at Alta. But if I did, today is your lucky day. So if you are there, and you're watching kudos to you if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very very important now before we get into that right over here there'll be a little little list of stores that i actually shop with on ebay uh they're actually through ebay and then they actually have their own personal website as well use the discount codes and also use those pay pal and for options the clearance all that go on a binge shop like crazy make sure make sure make sure make sure if the wifey is angry at you during the week buy her a gift too that'll kind of you know get you off that uh out the doghouse for a little while until you mess up again but uh that's a way to get out of it but nonetheless let's get into these fragrances now i do have three of them in front of me these are coach fragrances obviously everyone loves coach they love coach bags coach clothes coach belts shoes. coach shoes everything coach one thing i noticed though with coach okay it almost seems like the colognes and fragrances this is like you know eh, some people will buy it some people won't like they don't they don't take as much time or effort into the fragrances like they do everything else like the bags the clothes the belts and stuff it. like that because you go you can find literally a coach fragrance for about 50 bucks on a discounter store what other coach item are you going to find for 50 bucks anywhere else you couldn't find a you couldn't find coach floss for 50 bucks you can, you can find wallets uh, they have coach outlet true but uh you, you got to get lucky on those it's, it's not like you know with, with the colognes it's like you just you, you don't look hard enough you can go to like 23 different stores and get a nice coach fragrance for cheap so I'm not sure if they're just made cheaply, they, they just don't care about the fragrance, or just, you know, who knows, but I do have three of them in front of me. He's a man. Uh, one was actually bought because I went into an altar. The other two I just bought because I remembered they had these two, and I was like, you know what, might as well just buy the other two and then do a little video of this sort. So, with that being said, we will start off with, I don't have the original Coach that came out, okay? That's the one that's kind of like a gray... Uh, grayish bottle if you will so we Ooh, start off I think I did a long time ago maybe like five years ago got rid of it because I just wasn't wearing it didn't but, I uh, buy you that one in the sun? that one you didn't buy me that one. Oh, okay. but okay so we will start off with the coach platinum which is the silver bottle which looks very nice too by the Same. way good thing we're not naked or nude because uh, you know you could probably see the cameraman if they were on the other side okay this is a nice mirror finish but silver, okay, so now the cool thing about these tester bottles right here, especially these ones, they tell you what kind of notes to be expected in this one, okay? So we got black pepper oil, cashmere, and then vanilla and leather in this one, okay? So this is that uh, platinum, okay? So we do have our ghetto strips right here. These are cool. These come in play. Not only are these the strips, these are also wash your face and you wash off the dirt off the uh the tables and stuff like that so these are more than just meets the eye okay these are these are multi useful okay An iconic coach tag everyone loves that coach tag it's keep that too. coach tag there it is leather smells like it too so here we go and the cool thing about these one thing i like about these they have that little lock on here i think that if you turn it this way then you can't do an accidental pressing so she actually has one of Coach's uh, fragrance too, I believe, that I actually bought. Yeah, and I have never gotten rid of any of the fragrances that I've owned. Where would I do with mine anyway? So, here we go. Coach Platinum. We'll start with this one. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, AK, don't and speak. then we'll do the next one, thumbs up, thumbs down. The next one, thumbs up, thumbs down. And then overall pick your favorite. Okay, so here we go. 
Let's see if the sprayers are any good. Pretty good. Now, the you reason why... Yeah, I needed only two sprays. I uh, just wanted to show you. The reason why it's sprayed right away is because I did let uh, my nephew smell this one, okay? So, um, you know, a lot of times when people, like, open these up and you see it's sprayed already, people think it's been used already. But, again, I sprayed this, like, a week ago, let someone else smell it. But this is the first time she's smelling it. So, let's see what she thinks. It's very strong. It's strong. Very nice. Very... In my opinion, very nice and masculine, if you will. Mm. Nothing uh, feminine about this fragrance, in my opinion. I don't know if I'm a Nice and spicy. It's too strong for me off the bat. I just... I don't I know. The I... only thing about these ones, too, is these, when they're, they're like the built-in atomizers. It's... Can you smell it from the... Would it be the cap, the sprayer? Can you smell it from the sprayer? Yeah. But maybe because you just sprayed it. Let me, let me smell it. Okay, let me see. Oof, my eyes are burning. Hmm. Okay, I like that one. There's a little bit of sweetness to it, which I like. And maybe that could be the issue with, uh, you know, starting to feel woozy already after spraying it. That, that blast of sweet. Nice. But I'm definitely getting a nice spice as well, which is very nice. It'd be great as pepper spray. To me, this falls into the okay category. Okay, mm -hmm. nothing groundbreaking in my opinion, but right there, it's like it's so so. I definitely rock this. This is uh, in my opinion, this would be like a work scent, but spray ever so lightly. Don't go too loud with this one because definitely it could be a little bit too loud. This is a very loud fragrance. Okay, so I don't know how you feel about it if it's loud. Like I don't. I mean, it's loud in here where I kind of sprayed it. It's not loud like all over the place, I don't think, but it is loud. So like if you spray this heavily and then you go into work and then you like sit in this little cubicle, if you will, you're probably gonna fill that little thing up, but you're not gonna fill up like a whole office, I don't think. But nonetheless, I do like it. It's slightly sweet, slightly spicy, um, kind of woody. But I like it. What do you think? Now that it's kind of had a little bit of time to settle down. Um, scent-wise, it is not too bad. It is definitely very masculine. It is the one thing I like about it, that it, there's no guesswork yeah. in this one. Okay, this is straight masculine in my opinion. I don't get any... I get a lot of spice. So spice, okay, some spice. That's what I thought I got. Some spice, slightly sweet. I don't get any sweet. No sweet for you. Mm -mm. Again, that is the thing with all of our noses. We all smell different things. You know, and that uh, that just goes to show you that we all smell different things because there is times where I gave someone a fragrance that was literally citrus dominant and the first thing they noticed was not the citrus. They noticed something way different. So. Uh, you know, just goes to show some of our noses do work a little different. So that is that one. That is, uh, again, that is the platinum, the silver bottle. We'll go out to the next one. And I'm assuming this one will be a little bit better because this one is blue. Usually blue fragrances are a little bit more easier to just kind of go whiff away at. Obviously, it's maybe some aquatics going on here. Maybe a little bit shower gel vibe, but... This one has some citron in there, some uh, azonic notes, and some cedar. So, um, you know, I'm expecting nice things again. Here we like go. That bottle. Literally, again, same bottle. It's got the blue leather tag this time, but nice silver top as well, which I like. And I'm going to spray down here a little bit. So, if it is loud, then my feet will get it. So, uh, here we go. New foot spray right here. It's also a dog deterrent. Mm, I think I already like this one a little bit more. Much oh, easier. I like this one. And much easier to wear fragrance. This smells really good. Very clean, very fresh. It's like very uh, and it's mm. crisp. It just reminds me of like spring and summer. Which this is. Usually usually again most blue fragrances will do that. Will give you that kind of summery, spring, warm weather vibe, which this one does. Drinks. 
I heard drinks, having drinks, having drinks on the beach, having drinks at uh, boat? The, the, the boat. The yacht. The yacht. I you haven't been on a yacht. But uh, maybe eventually one day this uh, newfound fame will get me on a yacht. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably see, like better off on a rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I can see him in um, like linen short, shorts and some... A nice white crisp shirt. Is that this type of fragrance? That would be. A nice, like, get you some nice blue, it's like, uh, blue sh boat shorts. Nice little boat shoes and, like, a nice white button-up t-shirt. And then, like, some nice cool glasses. The breeze just blowing this fragrance. Get yourself a way. nice one of those. Remember back in the day, you used to wear those shell necklaces? The little seashell necklaces? Damn, Rue 21. Rue 21 used to be just iconic for those shell. But, but, yeah. I like that. Yeah, very easy. Now, again, this is not something new. Okay, this is if you spray this, you're not going to, like, I don't think you're going to wow anybody. Mm -mm, uh, but you are definitely going to be noticed, okay? And, again, here's the thing, you guys. Again, remember this, okay? When it comes to compliments, okay, it all depends on the people that you're around, okay? If you're around people that just do not talk or don't say nothing, you might not get a compliment. But then if I were the same fragrance but go around more happy talking of people i might get more compliments so that doesn't mean that you know the this like when people go out there and say this is a compliment machine you got to take in factor that where they work might be different from where you work they might work in an office where it's more you know plenty of other sexes and you might work at the construction site with all guys they're not going to come over there and compliment you okay so just think about that okay so, or they might work around a lot of women who are yeah, if you work Formal like say compliment. say you spray this stuff on and you work in a hospital or a you know the the healthcare types thing, you're gonna probably wear be around a lot of women, and honestly, you're gonna smell much better than anything that's in the hospital. So obviously, you're gonna get compliments. Like you know, you, what do you want to smell? Uh, uh, fragrance or uh, you know dispatch dispatches and uh, diapers and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> And blood samples and stuff like that. So, you know, obviously Iron. you are going to smell good, okay? So, last but not least is the one that I actually bought based off of my time at Alta. Because when I first sprayed this, I was like, man, that is definitely different. That smells great. And you guys already know I put this on a video not too long ago. But this is that Coach Green. Now, the wifey, she smelled this as well. This was probably about a good almost month ago. So, maybe this is a nice refresher if you will, but what's the, the beautiful part of this fragrance is there's a kiwi note, which, you know, you really don't see that much in fragrance. I mean, I haven't, but here we go. We're gonna spray this Maybe down here too. do a tea. video of all your fragrances with like a fruit. Like a fruit dominant. Cause I have one of your fragrances that I actually wear that I love, this like fruit, that rhubarb one. It only lasts like four hours, but. I don't get kiwi getting a lot of alcohol right now, but uh see now when she keeps waving it, that's where I'm noticing the like the fruity green. Like mm -hmm. when you smell it in the air, it's kind of giving it that green, soury, fresh that kiwi usually has, that sour fresh fruit I'm smell. Not getting any like I do get like a sweet like end note, but like it's it's ending sweet for me. Now, in my opinion, with this kiwi. one, is it's better off the skin when you notice the kiwi, okay? But in the air, it's more okay. of a, it's more of like all the notes kind of working together, which kind of creates this it's nice, like beautiful fresh. scent. It's like fresh, and but it does trail off sweet for me. So it's fresh, it's kind of green, it's kind of sweet as well, whereas platinum was just straight sweet, spicy, woody. Blue is more aromatic, more blue, more fresh, more clean. And then this one, you have the green, the fresh, yes. but then almost like this little bit of sweetness that follows. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, which this one, in my opinion, would be my favorite. I the like green this. one. This one is my favorite. For freshness, I would say I like this because it does have like that sweet note. No, yeah, she sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Nothing that's smelling a sweet note. I like it. Oh. There you go. She actually didn't just say sweet stuff. She says sweet notes. See? Mm. Now, for some of us frag heads that may know, but this is, uh, when I actually put this out, I actually said this kind of smells like a Sauvage with a little bit of green, 
a little bit more green, fresh fruitiness in the front. And then in the, like when you start smelling on the skin, you get little hints of like, it kind of smells sauvage-ish, this fresh clean. But yeah, I think this one is my favorite of the three. Then would be followed by the blue and then the, the silver. That would be my list. How about you? No, it is. A so I'm gonna give you the blue because I think it's between these two. That would be your choices. Can I spell a silver one again? That now one that just the silver one kind of has gotten a little bit of time to settle down. That one just got me really bad in the be in the beginning. Sorry, I thought the dog was knocking over the tripod. Now, now this one, now that my it's not giving me mace eyes. It actually smells really good now that I can give it a fair try. <laughs> so be careful with, obviously, again, blue fragrances and something that's kind of green and kind of fruiting. Those are a little bit easier to go uh, heavy on the sprayer because they're not as, you know, uh, headache inducing, if you will. Something that's more spicy, more woody, some, some mm. kind of sweet. If you spray too heavy, they can kind of be headache inducing right away. Like that one probably oh. was. It probably gave her a little bit of a light head. It burned my eyes will. so bad. But I couldn't even. This, is like this smells actually. Not I can really smell it. It actually smells really good. Okay, I'm definitely starting to pick up a little bit of like that. Van it's, it's a soft, subtle vanilla with that. And again, I, that spice and slightly sweet. I do like that fragrance. Um, it has calmed down so much. I don't even smell it in the air as bad as I was. Like when he mm. first sprayed it, I'm like, why in the heck? I like Let's the, go back to the blue. It felt like, oh man, that was really overpowering my senses. But that actually smells really good. I still think the blue is better though. As much as that silver is getting better platinum, it's just hard. It really is hard to just beat a blue, fresh, clean fragrance. That smells there's, really it's good. just something that is. You it's know, so simple. It's but uplifting. It's, so good. it's um, it's, it's comforting, if you will, comforting. It's happy. Mm -hmm. It's all those you know you uh, really emotions. And I feel like you could just wear this all year round. All year round. I mean, I mean, maybe I'm wrong because I, like I said, I'm one of those people who would just grab and go. I go with whatever I want to wear. So now, when you, I think when you say all year round, but in a certain situation. So again. A lot of people say they want to wear a fragrance depending on the weather, you know, which weather does sometimes play a role, but a fragrance like this, when you say year round, but it would be like a daytime year round, okay? Yes, not Okay, me. you wouldn't wear that uh, the winter date night, you know, then you want to go with something a little bit dark, a little mm -hmm. bit more sweet, but like, cause this is not to sexy, work. But it just smells great. So. And like I said, I work indoors, but it smells great. So when I think about something, grab and go. I work indoors year round, so. Okay, so last but not least, let's go back to the green one more time now that they've all had ample time to kind of dry down a little bit. This one is the lightest fragrance of them all, which it is the nice. green. Yeah, this one is the lightest, right? The green one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one is actually my least favorite. I don't like the way it dries down. The first spray smelled great, but. You know, I might have to, and again, I think it's more of a skin thing for me because when I smelled it on skin, I absolutely love this fragrance and I still do. I yeah, really, really stink. love this fragrance. And again, there is that uniqueness at the top that kind of, you know, sets it apart mm -hmm. from the others. They're all different. But. And it smelled great. If I had to pick and choose just based off of the scent, okay, the overall smell, I'm actually going with the blue first, and then the green, then the platinum last. That would be my okay. uh, take. So would, how would you? I do love the blue. Voting? You know, honestly, I would go with the silver, then the blue, then the green. There you go. And you know, that one, I thought I wasn't going to like it at all because it hurt me so bad in the beginning. But now that I had a chance to give it another try, I really do like that silver one. Well, there you go. There you go. So, if you are on the fence and getting a coach fragrance, you yeah, haven't got one just yet, okay? Again, 
they're cheaper, okay? They, they don't take as much pride in their fragrance like they do anything else. So don't be like me thinking that it's gonna be super duper expensive because you can get these testers literally for about 35 bucks. So you can get all three of them Check for them less than $100. So, you know, obviously the green one might be a little bit more pricier because it is the newer one, but I actually got that one for 50 and the other two for like 30 bucks each. So still less than 120 bucks for three coach fragrances so you can't beat that so i will leave that down in the description down below where you can find them and then again those are the coaches okay so with that being said again coach blue for me coach green and then coach platinum the wife goes with the coach platinum then the coach blue and then the coach green so we have different different noses but we we like we really enjoy all three of them though so yeah with that being said, we are going to get up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that uh, long enough video. Uh, luckily, we uh, kept the uh, the intro short, so you didn't have to just skip over that like you do your favorite TV shows. Uh, but there's no commercials. I mean, you guys might have to watch a couple of commercials in between, but just, just skip those, okay? You know, just keep watching us. Okay? Five seconds and skip. So, we will see you guys next time, okay? Peace out. Yeah.